Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to baby proof your fireplace with a DIY project. I'm doing this video as a collaboration with these two lovely ladies and we are all giving our advice about baby proofing. Our fireplace is completely made of brick and has always made me nervous. I've always been afraid Ikaiko would fall on it and hurt himself badly on the hard edges. So I figured out a DIY to solve this problem. For this DIY, you will need a foam mattress topper, fabric, scissors, a pen, a glue gun with glue sticks, string, and a large needle or yarn needle. Please note that the mattress topper is flammable, so please don't make any fires in your fireplace when you're using this. To start off, I'm just laying out the mattress topper and marking where I will cut it down to size. Then I'm going to follow the marks and just cut it out. Once it's cut out, I'm just laying it back over the fireplace to make sure that I measured it correctly and making any markings for places I need to adjust. Our fireplace doors kind of stick out a little, so I'm marking them so I can cut it out and make the foam fit a little more snugly against those doors. Baby, if you don't mind, I wanna love. Here I'm just marking off where the edge is of the fireplace so I can measure out the end pieces that I'll need to put on each side. You belong with me. On the end of the fireplace, I'm just measuring to make sure that the end pieces would overlap over the top and side to give extra cushion to the corners and edges. Once I had the end pieces measured out, I just folded them over and cut the two pieces out from the remaining foam. On the first end, I'm taking an end piece and wrapping it around the edges and corners of the fireplace end so that it's nice and tight. Then I take the hot glue gun and start gluing. I would not recommend doing it this way just because it takes a lot of glue and a lot of time and you have to wait for it to dry. So I will show you the way I would recommend doing it on the other side. You drive me crazy for you. I remember the park slide. We make sparks fly. On the other end, I decided to use a string and needle to hold the parts together, and this worked out a lot better than using glue. Once the pieces were overlapped and placed together the way I needed, I found the places that needed to be secure and tacked them down with the needle and string. I did this simple hand stitch along the edges and the corners where it seemed to need to be held together tightly. At the corner, I spent a little more time sewing these two pieces together from the very top of the edge to the bottom at the base. I found the more I sewed, the more fitted it was to the fireplace. Once the ends were connected to the larger piece, I flipped it over and added the remaining foam to the inside of the front edge. This gave it more protection and cushion along the sharp front edge. After flipping it back over, I noticed that the cushion was not staying flush to the fireplace, so I figured out a way to bend it and put pillows over it to kind of weigh it down 
for a few days and this helped to create a nice bend in the edge of the foam. We were made to be. To cover up all the weird stitching, I took an old sheet and wrapped it around the foam and tightly clipped it together with a binder clip. I think it's really important for it to be tight because if you don't want any sagging in the sheet or the fabric. Um, I know Ikaika would just pull it apart if he had any bit of fabric to be able to hold on to. So here's the finished project and if you wanted to use a prettier fabric it would definitely look a lot nicer. Um, you can decorate with other things and pillows. I just stuck with the sheet that I had and added a couple of throw pillows and it seemed to work out for us. We have really been enjoying this. I feel so much better with Ikaika playing around the fireplace with this covering it. Uh, it's just so much safer for him to be pulling up on and walking along now that he's cruising around our living room all the time. Don't forget to check out Tehani and Jasmine's videos on baby proofing. They will have their tips or tricks for you and I will have those channels linked below. Um, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!